I'll say my MBBS college helped me a lot because if you look at this, your coaching institute teacher cannot teach you the whole subject within two or four days or even one week. Because the subject which you are supposed to read for one year, that thing, no one can ever concise it to four, four days or two days. So my MBBS college uh, helped me a lot. I, I got very great teachers. Even during the coaching time, if I had some doubt, I would text my uh, some of my teacher regarding doubt and they will help me out. Okay, Ankit, okay, this is the answer. Uh, this is what is the new latest uh, publication and all. So uh, I had a great bonding with my teachers that helped me a lot. If you have a good teacher in MBBS college, that, that teacher will make that subject interesting. So you don't have any aversion toward the subject while reading for your PG exam. They obviously helped me build my base. And especially in exams like AIMS and all, that's where your clinicals are also tested. Like there will be some questions which will be clinically oriented. And if you have not attended your internship or your clinical postings, then it becomes all rote learning basically. So if you have attended all that, you, you will find it very easy. Like it will be all conceptual to you. I am from Chipmur Pondicherry and I am absolutely glad that I am from Chipmur Pondicherry. The type of education, the type of medical training that they provide is absolutely brilliant, I would say. Uh, whatever I studied during my MBBS curriculum, whatever I learned during my clinical training, my clinical postings, all come into play here. I would say like you cannot start afresh for, you know, for PG preparation when you come out of college. It all begins at the first day when you join MBBS and it ends when you get your seat. So the basic, the, base, the complete foundation of what I know, what I know in medicine, uh, to uh, in total all that was made by my college so I'm extremely glad about that that, one, that was one of my strong points while preparing for uh, the P a PG entrance examination was the knowledge that I gained during MBBS in Jipmer like I didn't like the basics and the concepts that were taught to me at Jipmer was so strongly ingrained in me that I didn't have to read all those basics again like I just brushed through them I just glanced at them like yeah, yeah aata hai. all this I know because they've already been taught so well and uh, in during MBP, especially the basic sciences for that is very important and even for the final year subjects like I didn't, I already told I didn't have time for to do the final year subjects well I relied on whatever knowledge I had during final year like what I did final year very well medicine, pediatrics and surgery and even the wards, many of the picture questions and many of the image, image based questions and all they like many even like even previous year aims and all they've asked about IV lines and NST, fetal NST and uh, vacutainer so if you've done your internship well if you have gone to your wards and you have been observant in your MBBS times then such questions shouldn't pose any problem and you'll be easily able to do it actually MBBS studies they matter a lot in entrance exams if you have attended classes if you have attended clinics properly you will do well there's no one who can stop you be regular in your classes like at Jipmer our basic sciences the teachers were amazing and we had so many tests and all that in the end we were pretty thorough with the subject in AIMS and PGI it's mostly they last lots of clinical stuff stuff which you see during internship and stuff which you won't actually find in any book so it's better that you properly do a, do your internship properly attend clinics you learn a lot and that knowledge is irreplaceable so you might clear your PG entrance even without going to clinics and all but eventually that is what will count the clinical experience that you had so Jipmer was amazing in that way and I would really like to thank my teachers, They, my basics were rock solid 